Okay, so this is Toshiba Solid State Drive SSD OCZ TR150. Okay, this is a 480 gig version. And this is the drive. And this is the home built computer. P8 Z68V LX motherboard from Asus and the CPU is i5 2500K this one have 12 meg of RAM and the graphic card is the OGS 8400 NVIDIA. Now, if you look under here, this one has six ports of SATA. There are two SATA ports support six gig gigabyte, and the other four, blue one, are three gigabyte. So, in order for this one to get up to 500 meg per second transfer rate, it has to be connected to the 6 gig uh, SATA, so which is the gray one on this motherboard. So there are two of them. Okay, so now we're going to install the new Mac OS Sierra. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is to plug in the uh, Mac OS Sierra installer. Let's boot it up. Let's see if any smoke come out. Alright. Hit F8. So we're going to go to the boot. So do we see it? We see it a P5 Toshiba TR150. That's good. But we want to boot for a USB 3.0. So right now I'm using Clover USB boot 3859. And we want to boot it from my uh, installer. Okay, so it's booting. Okay, so now we're going to need to configure the SSD. So we go to utility, go to this utility. Now we see the Toshiba 150 right there, uninitialized. Erase GUID partition map, Mac OS extended, Mac. OS Sierra. Okay, erase. Okay, so it's done. Ready to get out. And continue. Continue. Agree. So we're going to install to Mac OS Sierra. Customize. 12 gig, okay. So it's gonna take uh, 12 minutes only. Wow, that's pretty good. Maybe this one's fast. Okay, so it's done, it's rebooted. Alright, uh, rebooted from. So now we boot straight into the. Uh, Mac OS Sierra. And now we're in the screen, so. Okay, so. Don't set a time zone on the current location. Cupertino. Alright. That's it.
Okay, so this is the final Mac OS Sierra 10.12.1 and this one is on Asus P8Z68V LX motherboard and the CPU is i5-2500K so the graphics I put in here is the uh, NVIDIA GeForce 8400GS and the Bluetooth I put in just the uh, USB uh, Cambridge camera I use is a uh, cheap one I don't know what it is but it was a long time ago audio I use Voodoo 2.8.9 so the disc burning is I have Blu-ray LG that works for me to uh, rip the, the cheap Blu-ray DVD when I get it when it's on sale Ethernet card is working the Realtek 8111 I'm installing this one on the Toshiba TR150 and this is 480 gig and I turn on the trim support whatever that means so it does work very well except it's very slow when executing programs so I, I have to find out what's going on with that USB so 1.3 so it doesn't have any USB 3.0 that I noticed but actually the 3.0 that I plug in USB actually transfer at 127 uh, meg per second which is very good it's like 3.0 so the first one we need to get this to work perfectly like this one the series and uh, iMessage and FaceTime what we need to do to get the correct SM BIOS. So if you get the correct SM BIOS, you will have the speed steps. So Turbo Boost at 4.2 gig, while this one is designed to be 3.3 gig i5. Now look at the config file, the SM BIOS for this. So you will bridge. see iMac 13. So 11.55 is the uh, socket so what I use is 13.2 so 13.2 if you look in here is, is series 3 the Intel series 3 is, is Ivy Bridge if I use this one for i5 uh, 2500 that is Sandy Bridge it doesn't work. The best is to use 13.2 and you can randomly make it so create your own that's important your MAC address of your Ethernet. So if you look at the Ethernet advance you go to hardware this is your MAC address so it's the same as here whatever you put in front here is fine except this here it has to be the same that is is EN0 is your Ethernet okay so what it does is that these the UGUID will help you to get iMessage and FaceTime to work also the MLB make sure the MLB is is for serial number and this is the same and the ROM so make sure you RT variable the ROM 
has the same MAC address of the Ethernet and it's got to be EN0 and the ACPI for the SSDT to work you have to have one that generated by SSDT PRGen by uh, Pike Alpha so I created 10.12.1 12 or you go to my website I have a video on that one also okay if you get 1.6 gig or you get 3.3 .3 gig if you put a no uh, CPU power management uh, so that's not working very well this one you got a turbo so it's fast okay so go to my website learn how to get all the DSDT and SSDT from you read write everything from the windows okay or you can go uh, to get in a different way like a rehab man uh, patchmatic or something in the system library which is in the extension which is like drivers in order for the USB to work sound to work the voodoo 2.8.9 to work the Apple HDA has to be removed deleted or you can put the Apple HDA disabler from the voodoo so this one right here, fake PCI ID, and this one is for the USB. The generic USB access CI for rehab man also. Okay? So it's all those three, you get the USB working. And Voodoo HDA. hello do you hear me okay good it's working now let's do i message okay good i message and facetime's working picture in picture with sierra so it works only with Safari. So let's go to YouTube for instance. So if you right click and right click again, you will see picture in picture. So there it is. So what else? It says plain. So and now plain. what's next? The next one we can do is stop this. And exit picture in picture. For this, you can watch a Vimeo picture in picture. So there it is. So Vimeo will do. Alright, that's it. Exit. Where's Dow Jones today? I can't help you find a place when I know your location. In security and privacy settings, choose the privacy tab. Under location services, check Siri and dictation. Where's NASDAQ today? NASDAQ Composite was up 1.03% today, trading at 5,295.18. Where's Dow Jones today? Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 0.90% today, trading at 18,293.7. Where is S&P 500 today? S&P 500 was up 1.09% today at 2,163.1.